All right, now I'm going to show you how to uh, create a multicam sequence once Pluralize has um, synced all of your clips. So basically, if you look at the information here, um, this bottom green track is my audio recorder, and um, this footage is synced up with that, and it'll line up the longest track, the one that started earliest in time, over here. So basically right now is what I'm going to just is chop all this off since there's no footage um, to sync with that audio as it's part two and this is over here would be part one. So take that, cut it off, take the timeline back to the beginning and you can either just drag over all the footage and if you hit your tilde key which is like right under the escape key it'll make that window large so you can um, you know have a much better view of what you're doing. And that applies to any window um, that you have your mouse hovered over. So if you want a better view of your um, screen at the time or your project panel where all your footage is over here and your effects panel, pretty much whatever one, you tap your tilde key while your mouse is hovered over that area. And you'll get a nice big window to work with. So what I can do is um, select all the footage put my timeline at the beginning here and then just drag it over or um, I have a keyboard shortcut mapped to W and I forget the exact command name I can look it up which I use it quite a lot to nudge footage around rather than having to grab it all but basically it'll drag wherever your footage is to your timeline indicator here this blue thing um, so when I hit W it'll slide all the footage over so I'll take it to the beginning, hit W, and it takes everything to the beginning. Or, like I said, you can just drag it over and drag everything over yourself. Just be careful. Make sure you have everything selected when you do that. Um, once it's all selected and over at the beginning, what I want to do now is hit Control A to hit everything. And then I'm, what I'm going to do is make a nested sequence, and that will allow me to then make a multi-cam sequence so it kind of uh, takes all the footage and wraps it into one timeline so once I have set everything selected I can hit control A or you know drag over everything and select it all right click on it and hit nest um, alternatively again I think I have a keyboard shortcut map for that for control alt shift N nested sequence I'll name it um, so I wanted to correspond with the current name so we'll call it dance underscore six dash three dash one fifteen part two dash multicam okay and kinda what you can see how it did there it just made instead of having three tracks of video there it combined it into one and your other three tracks are still there you can get to it by double clicking on it and it's all still there so it's kind of like a sequence inside of a sequence basically um, so I can still get here and edit this footage if I want to or I can just do my edits here um, the next step to creating the multi-cam sequence is before you do anything you want to select the entire sequence here this green part and right click on it and hit make multi-camera enable so that will now make it a multi-cam sequence um, it really doesn't look like anything changed but if you double check it multi-cam is enabled and also you'll see here is camera one camera two and camera three so it knows that there's um, three video tracks underneath it and once it's enabled as a multi-cam sequence uh, when you double click on it it opens up your multi-camera editor in a different window so in order to get to the below sequence that's inside of it once it's enabled as a multi-cam sequence you can control click on it or you can go over here to your project panel and there'll now be two sequences um, 
this one that's inside of the nested one as well as right here um, so uh, once it's enabled as a multi-cam sequence multi-cam enable um, what I do is I have a keyboard shortcut map to the number two for my um, main window over here and now I can select the camera as the video plays so it's a little bit hassle getting it all set up but once it's set up um, it's a little smooth and, and your J, K and L keys will enable you to play video um, J will play it backwards, K will stop and L will play forwards and also when you double tap the L key or triple tap it it'll play the video in three times speed so it'll play it faster and um, what I'm gonna do since there's all these audio tracks enabled really the only audio I care about is the board feed audio which is the lowest one down here that's from uh, straight from their mixer board rather than the on-camera audio which has you know a lot lesser quality and um, what I really want to do also is double check and make sure all of the the footage is properly synced so I'll control click on that nested sequence again go inside here and examine my waveform files to make sure everything's synced up properly and usually it's pretty darn close every once in a while you'll hear a small lag and uh, once I look at it here I can see my waveforms and see they're pretty close and you can zoom in by using your plus and minus keys now when I zoom in real tight I can see this one is off by a tiny bit actually it'd be this one whereas these two are like dead on this one's off by a tiny bit so once I zoom in real tight I'll grab this one and this one and slide it over to meet up with that waveform you can see here here those waveforms are just a tiny bit all off and I have a keyboard shortcut rather than having to drag it over myself um, I have a keyboard shortcut map to alt left and alt right to slide that footage one frame left or one frame right right about there and you can see it's still a tiny bit off but that's like so minute that it really doesn't matter your ear probably can't really detect it and then what I'm gonna do is just solo this track so that's the only audio playing so once I start playing I can use my JK and L keys to speed up the footage and right now I'm gonna stick with this view it's kind of the head-on view Now I can see this girl is kind of walking over to this area a little bit. So I'm going to cut to that camera and um, I have a keyboard shortcut mapped to 7, 8, and 9. And that 7 would correspond to camera 1, 8 would correspond to camera 2, and then 9 will correspond to camera 3, which would be right here once it kicks in. So once I get over here to where there's three cameras going see all three cameras going now um, so if I hit seven that's the next camera one eight switches to camera two nine switches to camera three um, right now camera one or camera three are really similar um, right now a little bit farther into the video camera one zoomed in pretty good so I'll cut to that get a nice zoom in cut to camera three for example and um, what you can also do is say if you cut to a specific camera in a point of time but uh, maybe you missed it by a few seconds or a few frames you can grab that edit point in your timeline and slide it left or slide it right depending on which way you'd like that edit to point to be at. 
So right now, um, for example, I'm kind of maybe over here. Maybe I want a uh, better a side shot of everybody so you can see kind of the whole group rather than just one girl. I'll slide that edit over here and then select camera two. So now I uh, want to cut back to camera one. Boom. And you can also use your mouse to select those cameras.